Good morning, Shybot. I will be right back. Thank you, Aaliyah. My favorite place right now is we just made this beautiful little area for our city or town center well. And I'm gonna make a little magical cave with possibly a second nether portal in here. We'll see. Um, it's taken a while. <laughs> I, uh, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft, so I've been doing this for maybe a couple weeks. Um, maybe like two weeks, week and a half so far. But, if you want to see the whole progress, I have been streaming, making this world, and also uh, I've been recording it and putting it on my Twitch and my YouTube. So if you want to see some chill Minecraft survival gameplay, you can find like the whole progress of this world. And I've had a lot of fun making it. Nice! So this is, let me tell you my plan. So I spawned in right by this beautiful cliffside that drops down to a lake. And it's completely surrounding this lake. 
so what I'm gonna do is, I first just wanted to play around with the cherry blossoms for 1.20, because I just hadn't yet. But my plan now is, I'm going to make, like, fake a bunch of different biomes all around this cliff. You can see I kind of started with some spruce trees up there. Um, we have quite a bit of, like, snow and ice, but I want to put a little bit of acacia. Oh, I'll definitely make, like, a dripstone cave biome. But I'm going to fake a bunch of different biomes around this whole cliffside. And then make a themed village and floating island with a downtown city area that floats over the lake for each of them. So the village will be on the land. And then the little city will be on the floating island. Thank you so much, Aaliyah. We're trying to keep it cute here. We're not going to talk about the outside of that building. I, j I built it from the inside. <laughs> and I will fix it later. But here's the little city downtown so far. The reason why this texture looks different is because um, in the texture pack I'm using two planks stacked on top of each other form a different texture than or two um, wooden plank slabs stacked on top of each other make a different texture than just one plank and I built it with a different texture pack I know I love Mizunos and I also have the um, better leaves add-on it's really nice i love the fluffy leaves oh my god magical i watched episode one yesterday i i love it i had to stop and take a break because i was really sad about um pochita which i know he like lives on in chainsaw man but oh my god i adore it i'm so excited to watch the rest of it but I had to stop because I was watching it with my puppy. <laughs> and it made me sad. But it's dope. It's so cool. I love it. Oh, seriously. It's real it's a very good pilot. how this place looks at night like I just will sometimes walk around because I think it's just really pretty <laughs> at night yeah see all of these were um, half slabs that were stacked on top of each other so they made that different texture but I kind of I kind of like it up here in the bedroom Ooh. I'm actually gonna go up this way. This is my build. Um, I've built this whole world. I'll give you all a tour if you want. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Here's the map over here. Da 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 da. So far, I want to make it bigger. But you can kind of see. Let me stack up so we can see this better. <laughs> um, we have our little floating downtown city area for the cherry blossom themed biome. This is my first village and city that I'm making in this world, but I plan to fake a bunch of different biomes and surround this whole cliffside and massive lake with different themed villages and then a bridge that stretches out to a floating island for a themed city downtown area. So we're starting with cherry blossoms because I was really excited for them for 1.20. This has been updated, let me fix that. Yeah. Oh, I guess not. Where are all my spruce trees? I don't know. 
but I'll give you a tour of the cherry blossom area so that, or really quick, I was reading the chats. I <laughs> want. Oh, the Pochita plushie. That's so cute. There's my farm I hardly use because I blocked off the staircase down to it. I still have to fix that. But I first built... Thank you so much, Sir HC. I first built my little starter house. Um, I've kind of since removed all the stuff from it since upgrading my storage area, which I really like. I think it's very cute. But here was my starter house. And then... I decided that I wanted to make a little floating island with a little city area. I'm gonna fix the outside of that building, but I want this whole thing to have like buildings that tower up, kind of like that one, and then come to a point. Thank you, Aaliyah. It's my whole thing. That's what I'm good at. Not good at a lot of things, but I'm good at this <laughs> um i made this used to be my little storage room and here's my um vision board kind of this is where i put my plans my projects that i'm currently working on although it needs to be updated oh awesome dude but then here's my storage room my new storage room new ish i just kind of upgraded it a couple days ago but we have Dirt, cobble, deep slate, sand, gravel, more deep slate. Uh, and then like decorative blocks that you find naturally, decorative box that you make, and then tough. And then we have uh, materials that you use to create stuff. And then we have like decorative um, and useful like pieces you build. Uh, Flora and fauna that you find in nature, and then flora and fl fauna blocks. I need to put these back in here. I wanted my stone cutter to look like a little table saw. And then we've got our wood, which we are kind of lacking on right now, because we've been building a lot of it and just harvesting it as we need. And then to my insane diamond mine, which we are not going to go look at, because we have enough diamonds right now uh yeah cricket thank you for the follow do it Aaliyah. do it do it if you guys can tell me where because i forgot in game like where i find the seed for this world um if i can find it in like the pause menu let me know and i'll, I'll pull it up because you spawn like right in this cherry blossom grove overlooking this huge, beautiful cliffside. It's not a realm. It's not. It's just a single player world that I created. I started it not in peaceful. And then um, I swapped it to peaceful during my non-commentary like morning and nighttime streams. Because we had a couple of instances where... Uh, a creeper would come and startle people so <laughs> we just ended that slash seed in chat let's see ah haha -ha. here's the seed I'm so excited to keep watching chainsaw man no problem I'll keep it up there for a second so you can screenshot. Now, cheesy cheese, I'm going to be a former teacher and tell you, especially if you are uh, under 18. If you're not, you can ignore me. But please do not just give out your username to different um, accounts on, on live streams. Please, please, please. Mine's very small, so it's definitely super chill. But um, 
There is some bamboo kind of near me, bruh. But, um, there's like, okay, let me look at the map so I can show you. I hit three to put away my weapon to run faster, like I'm playing Apex. L-O-L. -L. So if you go off this way, like, here's our little area. If we keep going, boop, then um, there is some badlands and like an acacia biome. Um, and then there is, uh, tr -tr 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 -tr. oh no, Aaliyah. And then, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, there's a jungle off that direction as well. So I brought back some bamboo and then started growing it my own so that I could harvest it here. Yeah, I figured it was kind of like that. Magical. I know, rip to the puppy. I, I have, when I was... When I was but a youngin, and uh, Minecraft was like before there was hunger and everything. There might be, there might have been hunger on the PC, but at this point, I did not have it on the PC. We had it on our Xbox, um, and the updates, at least at that time, were pretty far behind. So back in the old days, when updates were pretty far behind on console, uh, my brother and I would play on the xbox together and i was obsessed with getting wolves i i still am i have a bunch just sitting throughout this world i don't let them follow me around because when i was like 12 um one followed me across my lava moat out of my castle and their name was wolfie and uh wolfie felt oh yeah minecraft did not used to have hunger Oh yeah, only hearts, and then you would eat food to heal the hearts. Oh yeah. And instead of, um, here, let's get hurt really quick. <laughs> instead of the noise that it makes when you get hurt now, instead of that, um, it would go, ooh, ooh, ooh. And, uh, you couldn't sprint, because there was no hunger. That was introduced with hunger. It was wild. It was a lawless land. I believe there are um, mods where you can make it go back to like the olden days of Minecraft. But anyway, back to my story. I was walking across my lava moat with my precious Wolfie, and then I just heard, arr, 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 and I turned around to watch Wolfie's last uh, yelp in the lava moat. So I don't let wolves follow me around. They are seated where they are safe. Ooh, there's a legacy version on bedrock. That's cool. Rip Wolfie, I know. Rip Wolfie 2012 through 2012. Do y'all want a proper tour of the area? Am I streaming on Twitch right now? LOL. I can't remember if I started streaming. I am streaming on Twitch. So sorry, Twitch, if I've been ignoring your chat. Um, <clears throat> but if you are on TikTok, please feel free to check out my Twitch. Thank you so much, Casey. Um, yeah, I know. I've got one dog IRL right now. And I just think of every dog. Even Pochita in Chainsaw Man as my dog. And so... I gotta keep them safe. So we have a dog sitting here. I'll give you a tour slash a dog tour because we'll be seeing the dogs as we go around. Cheyenne, thank you for the follow. Casey, thank you for the follow. <clears throat> All right, here's the tour. So I spawned in. There's just a huge cherry blossom biome here. I went and found the seed online. I'll pull up the seed again. Oh, slash seed. Enter. Why isn't it working? What is going on? Oh. I don't know. What's going on? Stop it. Is it because I have that gone? Yes. Okay. There, there it is. I had to click F1. Thank you, Aaliyah. Um, here's the seed three times for you. But you spawn in... Uh, in this beautiful... 
cherry blossom biome that overlooks this huge cliff side that completely surrounds a massive lake. So I built my little cherry blossom starter house and then I decided after my little house that I wanted to make a full like city area that was cherry blossom themed and I wanted to make a floating island like a small kind of circular circular in Minecraft floating island that is like a downtown city area that overlooked the whole lake here I'll pull it up again Thank you so much, Aaliyah. Basically a mod. <laughs> but um, here's the downtown city area I started. I have not um, come close to finishing it yet. We're not going to talk about the outside of this building. I built it from the inside out, so we're going to fix it later. This one looks much better. But I made a couple of little apartments that, since we're in survival mode, don't judge. They're not super decorated yet. Um, just because I don't have the resources to fully deck out apartments that I'm not living in. Thank you so much, Aaliyah. If you are looking for the seed, um, Aaliyah B just posted it in chat. I'm good, Naya. How are you doing? Fox, thank you for the follow. But here are the two little apartments for the downtown area. Apartment A, apartment B. And then I built this big tower to be city hall. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's not really a city hall, it's just a big tower right now. So you can kind of overlook the area. And then my favorite feature of the city hall is you can exit out the front or the back because I've got like a double helix little staircase. Oh, thank you, Aaliyah. Me too. Uh, yeah, let's pull up the texture pack. I'm using Mizunos. It is a fairly popular texture pack for good reason. It's really, really cute. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Congrats, Naya. If that's good news, but if it is, congrats, congrats, congrats. Um, I don't know if you can hear, but my dog is jumping at the door to come in. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, my baby. Oh, she's so sweet. Here are the texture packs. I also have better leaves. It makes the leaves all fluffy and really pretty. Of course, I love it. Um, I started building this world in a different texture pack. I started building it in... This will be fun. Let's do this just for a second. I started building it in this texture pack, Coven, which I also really like. Um, it just is doesn't fill out all of the textures. Like it doesn't affect the wood, it doesn't affect some things, but I really like um, the crafting table in it. I've been using it for like a cabinet with bookshelves a lot when I first built this world, but I do prefer Mizunos, I think. Took me a while to adjust to Mizunos, but I really, really like it. Oh my gosh, that's wild, Naya. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, fingers crossed. I really, really hope the best for you. That's so exciting, dude. I'm so excited for you guys. But anyway, sorry the tour is going kind of slow. Here's, the, here's our first puppy on the tour. Hi, and our second. Hello. Here's a little coffee shop I started. Um, here's, I tried to make a teeny, teeny, tiny apartment because I honestly started to get burnt out on the, the city downtown area. So, Caitlin, thank you so much for sharing the live. I'd really, really appreciate any live shares or likes. I've been offline for a couple years because I became a teacher and had to be. I do have a YouTube channel, Sarah. Um, if you, it's the exact same, just Gareth Stell as my TikTok but it's also linked on my Twitch. Um, and my Twitch is linked in my TikTok bio. 
Thank you, Cactus Cat, for sharing the live. Thank you, Sarah, for the follow. Thank you, Muster, for the follow. Thank you, Sophia, for the follow. Thank you, Molly, for the follow. Is what pink? Are you okay, honey? Yeah? All right. Oh, grumble, grumble. Oh! I gotta feed um, my, you can tell she's a pit bull by the way she's literally speaking English at me right now. I swear she says mama. But I'm gonna go stand somewhere pretty. <coughs> hey, honey bunny, I'll be right there. <coughs> she also hates when I play Minecraft because she wants attention 24 <coughs> seven. But I'm gonna go feed my dog <coughs> and I will be right back. <coughs> All right, so sorry guys, I'm gonna be one more second. I'm also going to um, pour my tea really quick. <laughs> The tea is steeping and piping hot. The puppy is here with her head in my lap. Hi, honey, honey. Go see your big mama. Oh. Buffy has two mamas. She has a small mama and a tall mama. As all dogs do, right? Bye, Audrina. All right, back to the tour. 
LOL. You're kind of getting a quick mini tour by me just running down this path back to our tour. So I started with my starter house. I started building the little downtown area. And then I decided I want a village on the cliff side and then like a downtown area you can travel to. So then I built this library. I thought a perfect first addition to a village would be a library. Now you'll see the library is a bit isolated from the rest of the village, which is back there. Um, I'm planning on building a couple of other public buildings. I'm not sure yet. If you have any ideas um, of what I should put here, let me know. But I plan on building a couple of other um, things here so that the library isn't so alone. But here's our Cherry Grove Public Library. Um, Mizuno's texture for stained glass is really cool. So this is the magenta stained glass. And then here's the inside of our library so far. I didn't make you to take that. I'm not quite sure what you're saying, Cheyenne. Thank you so much, smiley face, wiggly sign. But here's our little library so far. Again, we're in survival, so it would be completely decked out, but I just don't have the resources to fully, fully deck it out yet when I'm trying to build so many other things. Oh, you should. Oh, now the baby wants to go outside again. Sit. Actually, you just ate. Actually, you just ate. No, no, no. You gotta wait a little bit. Puppy's gotta wait a little bit after eating before she goes and runs around outside again. Oh, no. Now she's grumpy at me. She's gotta digest. This is a texture pack, Miranda. Uh, the texture pack is Mizuno's. It's a very, very popular one, and it is uh, like fully updated for the new Minecraft updates. So here you go. You absolutely should. Yasnaya, you absolutely should. Brayden, thank you for the follow. There's the texture pack and, oh, oh, I did it again. Here's the seed right here. Also, Aaliyah um, in chat has posted the seed a little bit back in chat as well. But, oh, let me pull up my Twitch chat. I keep forgetting I'm streaming on Twitch as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry. Here we go. This isn't when I usually stream on Twitch, so... I keep forgetting. Alrighty, so... Um, then I built... So I built our little library. And then I decided I wanted uh, some place for my animals. Because I needed leather, I needed wool, and I wanted horses. So... I built these little barns for the sheep. This was first for the sheep. And then for the cows, I have a horse in here just cause I was too lazy to put it where the horses go. And then here's where the horses go. I built the horse barn. We had past tense, Mary Kate and Ashley, um, cause they looked the same. And then, uh, something happened to Mary-Kate. And you will only see what happened to Mary-Kate if you go back and watch, uh, reruns of my lives. But something- a big accident happened with Mary-Kate. So Mary-Kate, rip, new home of Mary-Kate 2.0. She's been replaced. Um, here are two other stables that I need to adjust so that I can actually fit a horse in them. And then I'm gonna make an apartment up here. For like a, a farm hand. Of course, I don't actually have a farm hand, but just in the lore. And then down this little tunnel. Oh, I made my bone meal farm that I'm very proud of. Ta-da. And then uh, I upgraded our storage room. Da -da -da -da. I love our storage room. And now we're gonna take a tour of the rest of the village, which is my favorite part of this world. So, 
here's starting here is kind of like the residential part of the village and i've i've made little houses for a lot of my friends so my friends ali and justin i made this house for them just because the plants are very alley the plants everywhere User 8697996531767, thank you for the follow, Dustin, thank you for the follow. And here's their puppy, Kilawa. Uh, here's my friend Chris's house, little Chrissy. I want to make it prettier for him, because I didn't really build this one with him in mind. It was just the first house I built in the village. And I was like, I'm going to make them all tiny like this. And then I went on to build, like this and you'll see soon um but they're not all tiny like that this one kind of is this one is for my friend isaac and mizunos has really pretty um painting texture packs it is a texture pack here it is mizunos and better leaves If you want to take a look at that. And then, oh, hi, hello, welcome to Twitch. Deluxe Ducky, thank you so much for the 20 roses. Drisket, thank you for the follow. And no problem. I love showing off the texture pack. I love it so much. But um, this texture pack... Also, let me know if the audio sounds okay. Like, if my voice sounds okay compared to, like, the music in the game. Oh, Fox, I get it. I, I started playing um, The Last of Us, which is my favorite game of all time. I just got it for the PC yesterday. And it's, it's hard to learn to play keyboard and mouse when you are used to uh, the PS4 controller for a game. But I have two little bookshelves down here, but then the painting textures in this texture pack are really, really cute. So I put this one here to make it kind of look like a TV. And then this is actually a one by two painting as well. It just looks just like the bookcases with little glass doors over it. And I love that. Here's his little bedroom and then a little patio. So cute. Again, I'm going to decorate these houses more once I start to gather more resources. Here's my friend Libby's house. Again, very cute, very modest. I need to replace that, fix that, replace it with some light gray uh, terracotta. A little study that I've done nothing in yet. And then here's what I was talking about when I said, um, LOL, I said I was gonna make tiny houses. But I made this house. Um, this house, the exterior design, like the structure of the outside of the house, I actually looked at a YouTube video. Let me look at whose it is. I should put it on a sign right here or something. But I want to credit them because it was really, really pretty. And I was like, oh, I want to build something like that. And so I literally just like copied the outside of their build. <laughs> but let me find it. It's by Croissant Cat on YouTube. Croissant. So thank you, Croissant Cat. Uh, Kaizen, thank you for the Twitch follow. Skozy, thank you for the Twitch follow. Street Speed, thank you for the Twitch follow. Olivia Marr, thank you for the Twitch follow. Alexo, thank you for the Twitch follow. But here's the inside of this house. Um, oh, somebody was asking for building tips the other day. If you want some, like, building tips that I've picked up recently, I can give y'all some of those. Because it's really, like, changed the game for me. One of which is, like, using trapdoors for everything. Using them for railings, shelves. In a little bedroom. Again, not really decorated. Ta-da! And then... Up here is going to be our little village center. So, 
I made first a town hall, Cherry Grove Town Hall. And I didn't really know what goes inside of a town hall, except for like, you can get married there and also divorced there, I think. So, and also don't at me if I spelled marriage wrong, okay? I don't know how to spell marriage and I was too lazy to look it up. So here's the place where you get married, I guess. Congrats on the marriage. And then the divorce filings, congrats on the divorce. So if you ever want to get married and divorced in the same day, come to this building. And then I made a little cafe. Again, I want to decorate the inside of this a lot more than it is right now, but I've got a little hostess stand. Got some tables and chairs, very cute. And the this is supposed to be the kitchen. It doesn't even have any ovens or anything yet. So LOL. And then I wanted to find a lush cave. So I went hunting for an azalea tree. I found one, dug down, found a lush cave, and it's really changed my world. I have a whole bunch of axolotls now, and I made an axolotl pond in the middle of the village center. I was going to put a little fountain here, but I thought an axolotl pond would be cuter. And then I'm going to make, I think this is going to be like a little clothing shop and then a grocery store right next to each other. And then I had this little well, fun tip, if you put uh, four staircases all facing each other like this, you can make an infinite water source the exact same way you would like in four full blocks. Just put a bucket of water in one corner and then a bucket of water in the opposite corner and it will make you an infinite water source inside of a cute little well. So it takes up less space and it's just really, really cute. But I wanted to make a pretty little, almost magical looking area for the well. So we did that and then I'm gonna make a little magical cave with a second nether portal inside of it because we have a nether portal down kind of in our storage area but right now what I'm working on is I plan to decorate out this whole cave make our little magical cave and also I'm working on both of these buildings at once really I, I build kind of erratically I know you should like build the frame of the building and work on it in a, in a certain order, but I just kind of, as you can see, I just kind of go, go for it however I'm feeling. So, shall we start working on this? I don't think the clothing shop needs to be too big. Oh, and in this texture pack, acacia um, is like this really pretty gray, the acacia planks. Why is my dog so obsessed with Tears of the Kingdom? Because she's a weirdo. She's a little nerd. Absolutely spooder nut. <laughs> this is Mizunos. It's a very popular texture pack and it's updated with uh, for 1.20 and 1.20.1 and better leaves which is what makes the leaves all pretty and fluffy. Um, my dog is obsessed with Tears of the Kingdom because she really she really just likes certain things on the TV. Um, ooh, what am I doing here? I don't want to do that. I want to do this. She's just a weirdo. She really likes it. She really likes... Um, Coraline too. Coraline is her favorite movie. If you don't know what we're talking about, if you look on my TikTok, um, there's a couple videos of my dog going absolutely nutso for she loves when I play Tears of the Kingdom. Whenever we turn on the switch, she, uh, no problem, Spooder Nut. Um, whenever we turn on the switch, she will come into the room and grab a toy and start dancing around. She knows. But she loves a lot of animated 
shows and movies. She love, love, loves Coraline. I'm just going to get rid of this tree. Thank you for the follow, Cassie. She loves... Um, we started watching Fiona and Cake. She loves Fiona and Cake. She loves Steven Universe. She's just a little baby. She loves a lot of things. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna... I need more dirt. I need more dirt. What is Steven Universe? It is an animated show on Cartoon Network. And uh, it's very, very popular. What am I looking for? It is dirt. I need more dirt than five pieces of dirt. I'm gonna take the shortcut through the village. Is there anything else I will need while we're down here? I don't think so. Here's our nether portal, by the way. I didn't really show you all the layers of our storage room. And over there is where I'm starting the next bio. Yeah, it's like a, a TV network. They make a bunch of different cartoon shows for kids. see here. Yeah, I'll tell you how I made my axolotl pond. So, I dug out like the basic shape I wanted. You can see this like, I did two and then diagonal, 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 two on the diagonal and then four more, two on the diagonal and then four more, move diagonal, two more. And then, I just dug straight down. Ignore the different layers and stuff in here. I dug straight down to where I wanted the deepest part of the pond to be. And then I got a bunch of these different uh, stone bricks and chiseled stone bricks and mossy cobblestone and like moss blocks and glowstone. And I built it up in layers. So I did the bottom layer and I put fancier looking blocks where I wanted them to be exposed. And then I just put cobblestone everywhere else, filled up the first layer with cobblestone. And then every single place where there was cobblestone, um, 
I either put another layer of cobblestone or I built up a fancier block, leaving the fancy blocks on the first level so that you could see them. So really, the, the simple explanation is I dug a deep hole and then I built it up with uh, the, the stones that I wanted inside of the pond. You have to be careful because um, there are some spots, actually this spot is TBH, kind of one of them. Let me fix this. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. But there are some spots you gotta look out for that are like one block wide. If it's too deep, your axolotls can get stuck in there. Um, I've lost a couple axolotls or almost have lost a couple axolotls. So if you have like a one deep little hole that you're worried about one getting stuck in, you might want to uh, make sure you build that up a little bit. And I keep finding little ones that I do that too. No problem. Uh, Temu Destroyer, this is Minecraft. This is Minecraft. Snowbox, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Yeah, I got you, dude. Cool. Okay. Now we gotta figure out the roof for this little shop. Our little clothing shop. I wanna make a bunch of armor stands and put like different types of armor around, I think. So kind of want to figure out the grocery store while we're here. Building the outsides of buildings. Do I want the acacia right here or should I? keep it uniform with the rest of the town. We'll say zoning codes make it so that you have to have cherry planks on the outside. I just feel like it matches the rest of the village better. And then once you go inside, you can do your own thing. There we go. Cute. I also, it might have been magical, I can't remember who told me to build a flower cart, but I thought that was a great idea, so I made kind of a little flower cart, as best as I could in Minecraft, a game about cubes. I am in peaceful right now, Strawberry. Um, I... I have built most of the world not in peaceful, but then uh, I've been doing like relaxing. Thank you so much, Francesca. Um, I've, as, as in Francesca's words, I've been doing some relaxing like nighttime and morning streams. And we had a few too many incidents where uh, it, it got a little less re relaxing with some creepers and such. So I just swapped it to peaceful for these like relaxing streams and it's honestly been really nice just building in peaceful 
I was like never a person to ever ever play in peaceful. I was like peaceful is for babies, but it's honestly like so nice and calming. Thank you so much, Francesca. That's really sweet. I know I've already said that, but... Did I use up all my dirt? I did. Uh... Okay, here's the deal. I gotta get ready for t the day. I gotta do some work. I got to play with my puppy. But I will probably be... Oh, thank you, Francesca. What did I use to download the texture pack? Just Google. Uh, just uh, the just the internet. Um, so if you, I, I think I used CurseForge or like Minecraft.net, but um, there are a bunch of like safe platforms. Just make sure you're clicking the right links um, where you can download textures safely. Nice strawberry. That's that's kind of um, I I was a designated miner for years when playing with my friends. Um, so like I never played on peaceful. We just I other people would take care of like the building and the farm making and like the automatic stuff. I have a lot of friends who are obsessed with like resource gathering and building games and so they are really really good at making like automatic farms and stuff in this game and I would just go mining and and kill the monsters <laughs> and they would like build all of the stuff we need but I've been I've been a builder lately I've been a builder lately I really like it I've been getting back into minecraft hardcore hardcore I'm relating everything to minecraft almost as much as I do the last of us but, um, Brenda, to answer your question, I believe it was on CurseForge, the website, and I gotta fix that chimney. You can see the flames coming out the top of it. I don't want that. But, um, hello, sus. I, I really just downloaded it off of the internet, but be very, very careful when doing that. Um, there are great websites that are, like, Mojang, um supported that are really nice for finding so many different texture packs and mods and stuff like that but just as with everything on the internet careful hitting a download button make sure it's the right one um a lot of the times they'll put like download buttons all over the screen that you don't actually need to click But yeah. Oh, so as I was saying, I gotta get up, get ready for the day. Strawberry, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Um, but thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. I've had a lot of fun. I really love talking about this world and Minecraft in general. Um, and I will likely be back tonight. It gets a little iffy on the weekends during the weekdays. Um, you can see my schedule on Twitch. I stream every day, Monday through Friday, from 4 to 6 central time, but my schedule will be in your correct time zone on Twitch, if you look. Um, but I also have been streaming mostly on TikTok, but I've been kind of putting it on Twitch as well. I might add this to my Twitch schedule, but I've been streaming this world, Minecraft, low to non-commentary, like a really chill, relaxing Minecraft stream in the mornings and in the evenings. Um, so check back in, come hang out. I'll be on TikTok and Twitch. Please feel free to check out my Twitch if you're on TikTok. And I will see y'all probably tonight. I have a friend coming over tonight, so there's a small chance I won't get on, but I have autism so I might need to decompress and come play Minecraft <laughs> but thank you everyone for hanging out thank you Victoria for the follow thank you Faye Bunny for the follow Strawberry you have a good rest of your day I will see you all later bye I say and then I have to like swap over to turn off the lives on both 
programs. Hold on. Pretend like I'm still saying bye and waving. Bye.